In this session, we are going to implement wasdoc reset on Arduino Mega microcontroller. As we know that if we enable the wasdoc with timeout of let's say 2 seconds and if we don't perform wasdoc timer reset within the 2 seconds, then timeout will happen which will cause internal reset to the microcontroller. So let's implement this and see how it works. I have opened Arduino IDE and included here the header file for wasdoc timer. So in setup, we shall enable the wasdoc, enable the wasdoc and in the loop, let's make a for loop of uh, five times where you perform wasdoc timer reset. So here during this for loop, wasdoc reset will not happen. And after this for loop, for loop end, let's give the delay of 2.5 seconds. So we are expecting after this delay, after the delay of 2.5 seconds, wasdoc reset will happen. And let's say if you are printing something over here, so serial dot, if you print anything, expecting not to be printed. So this line will never print. So before enabling, let's disable it first. Disable wasdoc timer, wt, disable. So this will disable your wasdoc. And after this, let's give a delay of, let's say three seconds. So after this delay, we are expecting that wasdoc reset will not happen even though we are putting three seconds of delay and configure it for wasdoc enable and enable it for wasdoc zero. Let's say two seconds. I'm enabling it for two seconds and within this for loop. So let's make a for loop and i equals to zero i less than five. We have to loop for five times and here what we'll do let's print something over here serial dot print print the iteration number let's say iteration equals to serial dot print ln the value of iteration which is i and give a delay of let's say one second every time and perform wasdoc reset here wt reset perform wasdoc reset here so it will reset the wasdoc timer so during this for loop reset will not happen because we are resetting the wasdoc timer after every one second only and for how long we have configured it we have configured the timeout for two seconds but we are resetting the timer within one second only so within this for loop wasdoc reset will not happen and all the five prints for five iteration you will get it here and here we are giving delay of 2.5 seconds which will cause internal reset to the microcontroller as the timeout will happen for wasdoc and this line you will never get printed executing not to be printed this line will never be printed okay uh, configure this uart serial serial dot begin begin with 115200 so uart begin is done configuration of wasdoc is done for loop is done so what we are expecting we are expecting that this will get printed and it will reset here at line number 24 add prints here also serial dot print loop end and here also for setup let's print something serial dot print watchdog reset demo let's compile this okay we got some error uh, it gave error for this and then it gave error for this line 2500 so here uh, typo mistake was there let's compile it again so compilation is successful let's connect our board i have connected my board now and selecting the board so this board is arduino mega 2560 so i have selected this and select the port as well so port is this one so port is also selected now download this program download has successful let me open now the serial monitor serial monitor is opened and here border rate you can see 115200 which is correct okay so you can see the print here right wasdoc reset demo then five iteration print you got it here it didn't reset during this time then loop ended and then again it restarted right so you didn't get the print for this so that's how this wasdoc reset works so you can see here the continuously prints are coming as expected. So this was the short demo about 
Gauss-Drop timer and with the help of this we are successfully able to reset the microcontroller. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this and let's continue with another topic in next session. Stay tuned and keep learning. I'll see you soon.